Hi, my name is Carrie Bates, and I want to invite you to be a part of 16 Elm Street within these walls. Several years ago, my family and I went to Washington, D.C. to take in the Smithsonian's. While we were there, we were delighted in the American History Museum to take in this exhibit within these walls. It was the largest single item on permanent display at the Smithsonian American History Museum. Taken from the banks of the Ipswich River in 1963, this exhibit told the story of one house, five families, and 200 years of American history. Upon returning to Ipswich, I enlisted the help of my friend J.T. Turner, producer, director, actor, storyteller. In order to set the stage, I turned to my builder friends, who came together over the course of a Memorial Day weekend to build our frame. Back at the town hall, yards and yards and yards of canvas were being primed. Then, the sewing ensued. Pattern pieces primed, we pinned the canvases up to the barn of muralist Julia Purington. Area artists came and we painted and painted and painted. Finally, the day came to return 16 Elm Street back to the location where she had stood for over 200 years. Our foreman for that job was none other than Robert Weatherall, grandson of Helen Lunt, who was one of the two who stood between the bulldozer and the little white clabbered house back in 1963, saving it from destruction. Then came the cavalry, the DPW in their bucket truck. The canvases were unrolled and the house was erected. Neighbors who had left for work in the morning returned home to find 16 Elm Street restored to the neighborhood. We dispatched an invitation to the Smithsonian American History Museum, who sent Samuel Xavier Carnegie. Members of the Actors' Company created the characters that are our neighbors and friends from whom we are separated only by time. In telling the stories of the life and times of the people who lived at 16 Elm Street, we see the arc of history as it played out in the kitchens and parlors of ordinary citizens. Within these walls is reprised annually at 16 Elm Street in Ipswich, Massachusetts. The house made of canvas has truly become a part of the fabric of our community. It is a celebration of the people, by the people, and for the people. We have found that what started out as a celebration of ourselves is really bigger than that. It's Massachusetts's story. It's the nation's story. 2013 marks the 50th anniversary of the 1963 move of the Little White House from Ipswich to our nation's capital. In celebration, we are sending our players to perform JT's original living history play within the granite walls of the Smithsonian American History Museum. You too can be a part of this extraordinary cast of characters. Join our Kickstarter campaign and be the driving force that takes this story to the national stage. Our $5,000 goal will bring our cast of 11 to Washington, D.C. Further funding will not only allow them to sit down to eat, but will allow us to share this story with generations to come. Thank you.